And tennis fan, you don't have to wait any longer. It's time. And so Serena Williams looking to repeat as champion and win her third overall title in Charleston will serve first to the 2007 champion, Yelena Yankovic. Inside Billie Jean King Court, I'm Kevin Skinner. Thanks for joining us, tennis fan. Let's sit back and enjoy what we hope will be a terrific final at this WTA premier event. Williams won the toss, elected to serve first, and we're underway. Yeah, that's not a surprise. We expect to see a lot of that from Serena. She's already seeming to have that myopic focus. She is determined today to reign as back-to-back -back champion in Charleston. The Master Blaster having already come out on just the second point. Serena is going to try to build on the momentum as she was able to get off to such a quick start against her sister Venus that she wants to impose herself immediately upon Yankovic as a point away from doing so an emphatic hold at love. And that's what she'll get another quick service game for Williams just about a minute and you see the one next to her name on the board. That is a harbinger of what's going to be a tough afternoon for Yelena Yankovic if she can't match Williams early by holding her own serve. Such an important aspect whenever facing Serena. You have to do your business. And first and foremost, you must find a way to hold serve because getting a break off of Serena sometimes can prove difficult. No, not impossible here in Charleston. She has been broken numerous times already this week. So she is not impervious to some miscues on her serve, Serena. But sometimes she has a little difficulty focusing early. It doesn't appear that that's the case today. Brilliant start. Four points. And a hold at love. And Yankovic finally with a point after the first six go to Serena. What's going to be interesting to see is how Yankovic responds coming out onto the court because she has played a lot of tennis. She's played one extra match than Williams and she's played a minute shy. As she records her first ace. A minute shy of five hours more tennis than Serena. 
Total time on court entering this final. Nine hours, 48 minutes for Yelena. Four hours, 49 minutes for Serena. Just her opening two matches alone against Udan and Garcia were more than five and a half hours. And of course, with Serena getting the bye paying one less match, by the time they were both into the round of 16, Serena had only played an hour and 22 minutes. Which is the time of her longest match. And even with Serena having to play the two matches against Burdett and Safarova on Friday, essentially back to back, she dismissed both of those opponents in just a little over two and a half hours. So the fresher legs, yes, you have it. Far side of the court, top of your screen. As Williams finding a way to distribute the ball well through the court from the backhand side. Well, she has to work considerably harder. Six extra points needed for Yankovic, but she finally secures the hole. And we have a one-all scoreline early. Serena needing one minute, Yankovic needing six, but it's the same result. And that's all that matters for Yelena as she tries to keep pace with Serena early. Well, they have met once on Clay Pryor. It was just shy of three years ago. 2010 Rome semifinals. If you go to WTATennis.com, you can read an interesting story about Yelena Yankovic and her historic win in Rome in the semifinals in defeating Serena. Now, I don't want to be the spoiler for you, so if you're going to go there, I won't pay off too much, but it was on a Friday, May 7th in 2010, that Yelena, having already beaten Venus Williams in the quarterfinals, went on to defeat Serena in the semis to become the only player ever to defeat both Williams sisters at the same tournament on clay. That's as much as I'll say. The rest you'll have to read at WTATennis.com.
Serena, 31 years of age, top-ranked player in the world, one of 11 American women in the top 100. That's the most for any nation. Some up-and-comers starting to fill in the ranks. That's certainly pleasing for fans of women's tennis in this country. One such player, Mallory Burdett, the qualifier that Serena was able to beat in her round of 16 match on Friday. Serena on a tear, determined yeah. with her serve not to lose a point, and she hasn't. Eight for eight, two holds, and a 2-1 lead to begin the championship yeah, here in Charleston. Early stages of what is the final for the Family Circle Cup on this green clay that is the Billie Jean King Court, named after Billie Jean King last year here at the Family Circle Tennis Center. And of course, with 40 Love, the 40th anniversary of women's professional tennis that was started by Billie Jean King and the other eight women of the original nine, signing a contract for a dollar to form the WTA. Fitting that her name is affixed to this edifice that is host to the longest running women's tennis tournament in the world. Yankovic needed some sturdy nerves to hold in her opening service game, continuing to try to keep pace. Didn't face a break point in her opening service game, did Yelena, but she was under some pressure, and it took her a while to get through and finally get the hold. But you can just sense that Serena is really pacing herself well here, really trying to find a nice little rhythm before she really starts to begin the onslaught. Already six winners to just one for Yankovic. And both of Yankovic's winners now have come on aces. That's how effective Williams has been in pushing around and not letting Yankovic impose her game upon the world number one. Fifteen, fourteen. 
Yeah, he just could sense that it was coming. Serena just gliding so effortlessly across the court, swinging so freely, and already break points. She holds off the threat, at least for the moment, Yankovic, who's been playing some pretty solid tennis this week, it must be said, despite the fact that she was threatened and had to really work hard in some of her matches. She's riding a nice little run of momentum. Fourteen of her last 16 matches, Yelena has proven victorious. That's what's starting to make her feel as if she's playing some of the tennis that helped get her to number one back in 2008 and really make her more than just an afterthought in the draw. Finding herself in her second final. And facing break point once again. And already things starting to indicate how hard Yankovic is going to have to work. Deuce for a third time in her second service game. Serena winning all eight of her service points. Yelena about to put her 21st serve into play. getting a beat on the ball, a nice first step, getting there quickly, taken out of the air to prov provide her with a fourth break point in this fourth game. Now Serena getting a lot of looks. All five break chances in this game alone. And Yankovic continuing trying to work to fend them off. And a good serve out wide. Terrific effort from Yelena to once again extinguish the threat.
Serena not letting her off the hook just yet. Continuing to battle on. Sixteenth point. And what's really happening is Yelena is not able to distance herself and she must hold as I mentioned this is an important aspect to staying competitive in this final. You know Serena is serving extremely well. Hasn't lost a point on serve. Yankovic just continues to labor on. Finds her way to a third ace on point number 17 as she tries to finish off. But look at the way things have gone now. 20 minutes into this match already. Serena just a shade under three minutes total in her two service games. And if you do the math, yeah, you're right. Just about 17 minutes for Yankovic through two service games. And it's not done yet. Yankovic survives the pressure. Five break points for Serena. Unable to capitalize on any of them. And we are level through four games. Well, there's the smile from Elena Yankovic. A sigh of relief. It's good to see her back in the court having fun once again. Part of the reason she's been successful in Bogota, winning her 13th career title. Semifinals in Miami. Again here and now through to the last day in Charleston. First point that Serena has lost on serve. And it comes with the sixth winner for Yelena. Good choice to go cross court with the backhand as Serena approached. Called wide, and it's triple break point chance for Yankovic. Serena winning eight of her first eight points on serve. Now can't seem to find the answer, and she lost her footing here a bit at the end. Tried to just will it in with a little body English, but it wasn't to be. Will Yankovic draw first blood? Break it, Love, and Yankovic into the lead, the 2007 champion, trying to unseat the defending champion. Out in front early in Charleston. All right, tennis fans, Raising Canes wants you to get lucky. So if you are sitting in section 210, row A, seat 24, then you're a winner. Jim, the guest service is delivering you your gift certificate for free dinner for two courtesy of Raising Canes. Congratulations to the lucky fans sitting in section 210, row A, seat 24. You're here today's Raising Canes lucky seat. 
All right, so you try to figure it out. Serena moving well, sliding well, loves the green clay, loves this tournament. 14 straight matches, comes out, holds it love twice. Has five chances to break Yelena Yankovic early, but can't convert any of them. And then Yankovic turns right around and breaks Serena at love to capture the lead. Odd circumstance through five games. We are hoping it's a harbinger of entertaining things to come here in Charleston. As the Serbian looks to pad her lead. Marko Jankovic, Elena's brother in attendance, sort of working as a pseudo coach, if you will. Elena, without really anybody here coaching her, it's just more of the familial relationship. They talk about tennis. They enjoy each other's company on the road. Just the ability to be relaxed around a family member as opposed to having to have someone barking orders at you. Elena feels as though she can control things and her destiny on the court now. And she seems to be playing a lot more loose tennis of late. The 14 and 2 record over the course of her last 16 matches and the way she's really performed here this week. Even when she's gotten in trouble and gotten down on herself just a bit, she's popped right back at a look over towards her brother. Smile back on her face, feeling as if she's really enjoying tennis again. Elena's mother not in attendance, not a constant companion on tour any longer, picking and choosing her spots when to accompany Elena. And it's just sort of a new little transition effort for Elena to be a little more independent. And if necessary, as you saw, Marco is wired up and ready. If he is called to the court for on-court coaching, he has been signed in as the designated person to do so. Yay. And Yankovic out to a 4-2 start. Much easier service hold than her previous two efforts, both in duration as far as time and points. And there's that smile I spoke of when she's feeling good. And the smile is at the ready is when she's playing her loosest and most efficient tennis. 
Don't forget to go to Facebook.com slash WTA. You can see the post yesterday that the WTA put up about the Family Circle Cup highlights from quarterfinal day on Friday. It was something of a historic day. In a number of ways, people who had tickets for Friday's competition during the day session saw the Williams sisters in four separate singles matches. Venus winning two, Serena winning two, as well as watching Stefana Vergele of Switzerland pick up her first ever top ten victory in the night session against Caroline Wozniacki. Highlights of that are available at Facebook.com slash WTA. Nice little run here from Yelena. Three straight games. Can she pressure Serena once more? Spoke about it during the warm-ups and about how Yelena really has the belief and confidence in herself, particularly of late with the title run in Bogota, semifinal in Miami, that she can give Serena a competitive match. She can win this match, she feels. She can be an agitator, constantly putting the ball back in play. Serena going for the big win and taking herself out of the point beyond the doubles alley. And Yelena content to just be that sort of tormentor. She's happy if she can find a way to frustrate Serena. <laughs> Father Richard Williams in attendance. Saw his new baby boy born in August of last year, Dylan, in attendance along with wife Lakeisha. They might be undercover out of the direct sunlight today. Dylan was in attendance on Friday watching big sisters Venus and Serena battle it out through their four matches combined. And Serena making a step forward to finally getting an end to this three game run for Yankovic. And does so. The three-game slide comes to an end, but Serena still finds herself down early, as it is Yelena Yankovic with the lead by virtue of a break in set number one. Throughout the week, we've been giving you a chance to win a trip to the U.S. Open. One lucky winner is eating round trip air for number two, a two-night stay in a Manhattan hotel, two box seats for the evening of August 28th, airport transfers, and a $100 gift card to use for the tournament. Yelena Yankovic has enjoyed good success relatively against the Williams sisters. There's Venus Williams, who yesterday lost 6-1, 6-2 to Sister Serena, having played three matches in two days. It was a little too much for Venus to be able to compete at the highest level, as it is so often difficult for everybody in the WTA, taking on the world number one. But what's interesting about what Yelena Yankovic has been able to do against both Venus and Serena, if you look at it, it's pretty remarkable as Yankovic serves to protect a 4-3 lead. How many players can say this? 
when facing Serena and Venus. Yankovic is a combined 10 and 11 versus the Williams sisters. A win today would put her at 500 against both. Four and five against Serena, six and six against Venus. And with all the success the Williams sisters have, there aren't too many who have winning records against them, to say the least. In fact, anybody who has played amongst active players, Serena, four or more times, including Yankovic herself, None have a winning record against her, but Yankovic has done well with four and five. Actually, posting four wins against Serena has proved most elusive for just about anybody, active or not. And Serena trying to make inroads on Yankovic's serve once again. A half chance is nullified to 30 all. Yeah, Venus has the most career wins versus Serena. 10. With a victory today, Yelena would join just this elite group of Capriati, Enna, Hingis, and Dementieva as being able to post five victories against Serena. All time. Yeah. Yankovic takes a spill back down on the green clay once again. She had a problem keeping her footing in her match. In round number two against Caroline Garcia, fell a couple of times, landed on her hind quarters, and very much provided the crowd with a little entertainment as she dusts herself off once again in this final. Yeah, she's played to the crowd all week. She has really been trying to entertain with both her tennis tactics and her personality. Somebody's having fun and the other is not. It's as simple as that right now. say it's pretty evident and Serena lets there be no doubt her first loud and exclamation of come on as she works her way to deuce for a third time in this eighth game. Wait, 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 wait. 
be a first serve. Serena asked for time for a moment and disrupted Yankovic's toss. Kader Nuni from the chair issues another first serve. in control of her game and this opening set. 5-3 advantage. And really frustrating the defending champion. This is unfamiliar territory for Serena this week. In fact, at this event over the course of the last two years, going back to last year's title run and producing her final appearance here in 2013, only three times has Serena allowed an opponent four games in a set. None have gotten to five until now for Yelena. And that, of course, means that Serena is serving to avoid dropping her first set in two years here on Daniel Island. This is great stuff from Yelena because she's really trying to pose her game upon Serena, which isn't easy to do. So many players just have to sit back and take the beating that Serena provides. But Yankovic, with the confidence and the ability, is really able to step in, take some time away, be disruptive of the pattern that Serena likes to play. JJ, two points from the set. through those opening games, Serena was moving so well. But even that forehand strike seemed a bit off balance, as if she's uncomfortable in her positioning now on the court, whereas before she was gliding, moving so smoothly. Certainly should be a credit to, towards Yankovic's style today, the strategy she's been employing. So far, there's been six break points. Serena 0 for 5. Yankovic 1 for 1. Yankovic with set point.
She may have played just about five hours more tennis this week than her opponent, but Yelena Yankovic is the one with the fresh legs. She sprints to a one-set advantage in Charleston, taking the opening set from the defending champion, 6-3. The championship of the Family Circle Cup 2013 edition, the 41st year this tournament has been held in succession, the longest running women's professional tennis tournament in the world. And a historical event that is a premier stop for the WTA. Elena Yankovic, surprising some who might have thought, well, this could be an easy walkthrough for Serena towards her 49th career title. Not so much. And Serena already with a sense of purpose to start set number two. Yankovic handing Serena her first dropped set since the final in 2008, when Serena defeated Vera Zvonareva 6-4, 3-6, 6-3. .6 now, granted, she took the next four years off, didn't travel here to Daniel Island, but last year ran to the title without dropping a set. Cruised into the final here today without having dropped a set. In fact, didn't allow a single opponent more than four games in a single set the entire time. Only Mallory Burdett in the opening set, 6 4, and Lucy Safarova in her match in the opening set, 6 4, got close. But it's been Yelena Yankovic today who has found the right recipe to perhaps cook up the upset and pick up her second Family Circle Cup title. And she's getting some help from Serena of late. Serena didn't hit a single double fault yesterday in her semifinal against Venus Williams in the opening set. Or excuse me, didn't commit an unforced error in the opening set against Venus yesterday. She has already doubled up Yankovic in this match. 14 errors for Serena. Yankovic appealing to Kyder Nooney to say, 
It seems as if Serena's waving her racket during the course of my toss while I'm serving and it's becoming distracting. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Serena let Yankovic know and know on certain terms she's not the one to mess with and she said as much. Serena standing back advising Yankovic don't poke the bear. She says you have a problem. I'm not the one. Remember 30 all second set. If Serena has just gotten her wake up call. Prepare for it. Williams has struggled a bit with break points hasn't been able to find a way all five actually coming in the fourth game of the opening set as Yankovic struggled through an 18 point nine minute hold since that point it's been all Yelena. And she double faults away the game. Serena will take the long way around opposite side of the court but she enjoys a one love start to set number two. So finally on her sixth try Williams able to get the break something she was unsuccessful in doing in set number one. Service numbers were very impressive early for Serena winning her first eight points on serve but then she would be broken in two of her next three service games and that was enough for Yelena to provide herself the space and the confidence against Serena today. Yankovic seeming to still appeal to Kadea Nooney about being distracted during her serve by the movement of Serena Williams and Nooney says I don't see really any problem I'll keep an eye on it. Nuni from Pepignan France in the southern portion of that country at the helm of this final.
what a remarkable angle. Serena, are you kidding? Yeah, the forehand starting to find its effectiveness once again, and that was a fantastic shot as she traveled on the run into the doubles alley and sliding to get it just to roll over the net and kick wide. This is the most dominant form of serving that we've seen from Serena since the opening two service games when she didn't lose a single point. The rhythm has returned, as has the focus. And she's on a run. Not only to the middle of the court to put the ball away for a hold at love, but also yeah, since the verbal yeah, exchange, yeah. things have gone the way of Serena. Go ahead, if you're keeping score at home, I'll give you a chance. Grab your Sharpie, circle that point. 30 all, opening game. Yankovic woke up the bear. And boy, is Serena bearing down. Two love start. That ends a run, by the way, of eight straight points for Serena since that exchange. I think the other area that Yelena seemed to be perturbed about was that Serena was taking some extra time, and Yankovic was having to wait to put her serve in play. Movements back. The ball striking is impressive once again. And Yankovic has to really maintain her control of her own game right now. She's playing into Serena's hands, whereas before she was an agitator, causing problems, striking the ball well and moving it from side to side to keep Serena off balance. But there's a sense of clarity now in Serena's game that was missing in the last six games of the opening set. And Yankovic not doing herself any favors as she throws in her fourth double fault. Second of this set. And Serena looking to break for three love. Yeah. 
Serena 9 of 13 on the day when coming to the net. Provides herself with an eighth break point. Good beginning in response from one of the best at coming back from a set down in women's tennis. Williams, three love to begin set number two. Back in Charleston, Yelena Yankovic, Serena Williams, two former champions, having won this event in 2007 for Yankovic, 2008 for Serena, and again last year. As the defending champion drops the opening set, her first set lost in the last two years. But she has come roaring right back in set number two, taking the opening three games, including two breaks. As the world number one, Looks to establish herself with a four love start as she serves for the second time in the set. The protestations of Yelena Yankovic to Kader Nuni seem to have worked somewhat. Quality return from Yankovic puts her in on the run and it finds. Ample space does the backhand of Yankovic for her 15th winner. Yeah, Yankovic, as she had pleaded to Nooney to ask that Serena speed things up when she's setting back to return. Kader, during the sit down between these third and fourth games, did ask Serena to be, well, courteous and conscientious about how much time she's taking. And the swing and the miss, strike one. It was a pleasant exchange. There was no drama during the sit down, and Nooney just asking Serena to take it into consideration. She said she would, and we return to the action 15 all.
Marko Jankovic just quietly sitting by as sister Yelena tries to answer the question is what has gone wrong. Well you can certainly see it's what's gone right for Serena. She's back to playing at a high level again. Whatever was the cause of her loss of focus for a moment she was brought right back into this set early. During the verbal exchange between herself and Jankovic. Serena truly one of the best at being able to come back from a set down during her career amongst active players. She is the leader. Oh and she knew it as soon as she hit it the backhand just jumping up a bit for her and she was unable to find the rhythm and she's facing break point. Yankovic has been effective today successful on both of her previous tries as she looks to get one of her two breaks in this set back. Yeah, net play so effective for Serena, the three time Olympic gold medalist in doubles with Sister Venus. She just is so confident, and it's such a good first step that puts her in her position driving through the court. Winner number 21 today. Saving break point. This time the backhand does not betray her. Started to elevate her performance with the first serve, getting it in 92% of the time, and she's won all but four points in this set. A far cry from the way she slipped at the conclusion of set number one when she was broken for the set by Yankovic. Fantastic stuff from Serena Williams. Her ability to transition and move well. The slide, the recovery, the step forward. That's phenomenal. And that's why she is the defending champion. That's why she's in position to make it back to back runs if she can win. This second set and force a third and come away with a crown for a third time in Charleston. Just remarkable. And she has won four straight games to start this second set of play. And going back to my point previously as we watch a replay of Serena's attempt just deliver a little short hop drop shot the two best amongst active players to come back from a set down and still win the match 
are Serena herself winning 45% of those matches and Maria Sharapova just a shade under 40% herself. So it's no foregone conclusion by any stretch. Remember, Serena comes into this match having dropped just two matches all year. Yeah, it's not going to look any different, Yelena. If you succumb to the pressure of the moment and start offering free points to Serena, as you have six times now, amongst your 14 unforced errors, six double faults, that's not going to help your chances. Serena really starting to hold sway over this match, particularly this set. Brilliant ball striking, really measuring her shots. Just enough margin with just enough pace to keep Yankovic off balance. And from 40-15 to deuce. Getting dicey for JJ. Saw a moment ago seven unforced errors in the opening set. Now that's her eighth in set number two, facing break point once again, and a possible third time broken. It's not just a possibility, it's reality. It's all Serena Williams in set number two, a game away. From a one set battle for the title in Charleston. During this SunTrust switch, consider switching to the award winning service of SunTrust today. Our team will provide everything for you from direct deposit to online go pay. Learn more at suntrust.com slash switch. And we'd like to send a special happy birthday message to Jill Ladder. Happy birthday, Joe, from all of your friends here and the family so Serena Williams will serve for the second set here in Charleston. Try to force a third set for all the marbles. A third overall title for Serena or a second for Yankovic. Williams equaling her output in set number one. 
the same as Yankovic herself, but things have come far more sparingly for Yelena. Only four winners against the 12 she imposed upon her opponent in set number one. Broken twice in the opening set. Serena has lost a total of four points on serve here in the second. Double set point for Williams. And Yankovic deciding it's time to pick up and put up a little fight here, saving two set points en route to Deuce. Oh, but the big blaster comes out once again. Yankovic may issue a challenge, and Nooney will climb down from his chair. Actually, it's not on the serve, it's on the return, and Nooney confirms that it was out. And it'll be set point number three for Serena. Yeah, the big serve, just so effective. Yankovic trying to control her return, but misses the mark.
That's a smart shot. It's something Serena can do. She's always credited for having the massive power, but she took something off this. It didn't have a lot of depth. A nice angle. If she had hit it deeper and with more power, Yankovic could have recovered. Instead, the winner and a fourth set point. And it's done. Serena Williams blanks Yelena Yankovic in set number two. And we'll go to a third to decide the champion of the 2013 Family Circle Cup. Are you looking for more spin in your game? Then come try the Fox Black Widow Spring on the demo court and add some bite to your game. And you remember the last time you had delicious mountain water and shrimp? Well, I'm hurrying it fast because they have a new limited time only shrimp menu with appetizers starting at just $4.99 and offering starting at just $9.99. The flavor is unforgettable. Think fast, think shrimp. Forty first edition of the Family Circle Cup in Charleston, South Carolina. First in Hilton Head, South Carolina, back when it all began forty one years ago. But in two thousand one they moved right here to Daniel Island. And since that time has seen this premier event already one of the most prestigious on tour really flourish. One set will decide champion once again at the Family Circle Cup. Will it be two thousand seven champion Yelena Yankovic serving to begin the set? Or two time and reigning champion. Serena Williams who took the second set at love off the Serbian. $795,000 combined event. Demarcated as a premier. Following the two premier mandatory events in Indian Wells and Miami. Of course, Serena riding a nice run of match wins as champion in Miami last week. Winning that tournament for a sixth time and coming in here trying to win Charleston for a third. All in all, Williams has won 10 consecutive matches. Yankovic has a 10 match win streak of her own on the line. And no, not in succession, but on this surface. Winner of Bogota earlier this year on clay. And now a finalist here in Charleston, making it 10 straight on the dirt. Yeah. 
and Yankovic gets the hold. Her first game since the War of Words that began set number two. That really seemed to wake up and focus Serena Williams' effort. And so, Yankovic on the board first in this decisive set. Well, looking back at the numbers, really, the ones that stuck out to me, obviously, being the winners and unforced errors for Williams, because she really fine-tuned fine -tuned her attack and her approach. Perfect at the net, three breaks, saving the only break point she faced. But in numbers that mattered, it would seem, it was at 30-all, 50 minutes into this match, the Yankovic asked Serena to speed up while she was set to return. Serena was taking her time. Yankovic trying to put the ball in play and said to Serena, how long do I have to wait? And Serena said, as long as I need. From that point on, Yankovic won only 15 points and not a single game in set number two. Repurposing Serena's efforts, and it shows with that bagel score in the second frame. As Serena serves, try to keep pace in set three. And Williams with the hold for one all. Since broken to finish off set number one for the second time, Serena has won all but seven points on serve as she positioned herself evenly through two games. Yankovic trying to unseat the defending champion. Has already handed her her first drop set in the last two years here in Charleston. Yeah, it's what you'd hope and really expect to see from a former number one herself. Some fight here, some resistance from Yankovic to begin this third set. She's not the passive type. Certainly not content to just concede this match and the title. She does have those mercurial starts and stops, little changes in momentum and focus. It is the first time that she has lost a set at love to Serena. The only other time that happened was in Dubai in 2005 in the semifinals. Serena injured in that match, lost the opening set 6-4, and retired at 4-3 in the second. I remember Williams in the Olympic Games, early rounds, handed Yankovic 
a 6-3-6-1 beating at the All-England Club on grass. This is a big turnaround for Yankovic, who has won, worth reminding you, their only previous match on clay. Two thousand ten Rome semifinals. Yankovic came back from a set down to defeat Williams. That of course being on red clay. And another smart move from Serena. A lot of people would have just put in an all out effort to just pound that away. Just get a big swing on the overhead, but she decided to give a little bit of a change up. The short ball going wide instead of going deep. And Yankovic, no chance to recover. And this finds the line for a break point. Yeah, Patrick Moratoglu, who works with Serena, has done so since the shocking opening round loss at Roland Garros last year. So that's one of the things he's liked of late, the way Serena has been playing. It's not just power. There's some creativity, some nuance, showing tennis smarts. She went for everything on the serve, and she's fired up. Serena Williams puts herself to the lead in set number three. Back at Daniel Island, the Family Circle Tennis Center, Billie Jean King Court, site of the final for the Family Circle Cup 2013 edition, its 41st year. It also serves as a concert venue in the offseason as well as a public tennis facility. Bob Dylan will be in town May 4th to entertain the crowds here inside Billie Jean King Court. Later in the summer, Bare Naked Ladies, Ben Folds Five, the band Fun, Tegan and Sarah. The string music coming from Serena Williams in set number three. Up a break, serving to push out to 3 1. And she's looking in fine form. Everything's starting to work, and Yankovic had best be careful here. Not only did Serena strike the blow and shut Yankovic out in the second set, but she's starting to take over and really wrestle all the momentum here in set number three. 16 backhand winners to 13 from the forehand side amongst the 32 winners on the day for Serena. Only one ace. Fourth time these two have gone the distance of a third set in their first meeting in San Diego in 2004. Williams came back from a set down. Serena also winning in one of their two previous finals in three sets in 2008 on the hard courts in Miami. 6-1, 5-7, 6-3. She holds a 2-1 advantage over Yankovic in this regard. Yankovic winning their only meeting on clay, coming back from a set down to win 7-5 in a third set tiebreak in that semifinal on the clay courts of Rome. Oh. 
And Serena, halfway home to defending champion. Well, Serena, so effective, the number one player in the world, the number one female tennis player in the Twitter arena as well. 3.6 million people follow Serena. If you'd like to get involved in WTA players or the WTA itself and get information, go to twitter.com slash WTA. And if you put the hashtag WTA40Love, you're in the conversation about the four decades that we have enjoyed. Well, not all of us. Not all of us have been around that long. But for those who have, four decades of women's professional tennis. You can certainly put your thoughts into the mix in the glorious Twittersphere. Now, Yankovic might be trying to speed things up, and it's Serena who's taken her sweet time. This is what they had words about at 30 all in the second set. That's where the change in the momentum occurred. Good driving backhand as Yankovic starts to mount her comeback. That's why we keep an eye on both of them. A chance to look to see if Yankovic is trying to speed up the process and if Williams is really doing her thing to take her time. Doesn't appear to be so during this fifth game. Serena's already in place. But after Yankovic took that opening set in five of the last six games of it, the exchange at 30 all in the first game of set number two is where the momentum was just grabbed away by Serena. Something about their verbal sparring seemed to wake her up. She only allowed Yankovic 15 more points in the second set. She's only lost one game since. This is game number two as Yankovic picks up her fifth ace to get a second game. But down a break as the defending champion tries to go back to back in Charleston. After a decidedly lopsided second set, Elena Yankovic making things a bit more dramatic in set number three. 
a hold of serve to get to 3 2. And after acing in that fifth game, I looked down the court from Yelena Yankovic right at Serena Williams, and I will not be intimidated. You got me in set number two, I'll give you that. The bagel wasn't tasty, but I'll accept it. But I'm not just going to go away here in this third set. It was definitely a glance that Yankovic gave down the court. Last time, she gave a little business to Serena. Uh, turn set number two around. I wonder if she's just woken her up one more time to her own detriment. That was a blast. It won't go in the books as an ace, but it was her most powerful serve of the day. Just under 120 miles per hour. Now recorded 116 officially. There's her second ace, and that's her biggest serve of the day, 119. Her 30th ace of the tournament. And I'm telling you, you got to stop provoking Serena, Elena. That look did you no favors. Playing like a woman that is perturbed. She's been bothered by Yankovic's presence, both physically with her tennis talents, as well as the little mental aspect of their challenge. And the world number one has risen to the occasion. And Serena is two games away. Twenty one different women have won the Family Circle Cup over its 41 years of existence. Back to back titles have occurred just 10 times, but it's been 17 years since the last. Conchita Martinez winning in 1994 and 1995. Serena winning the last two times she traveled here to Charleston, 2008, then a hiatus and winning again last year in 2012. Chris Everett has the most titles at this event, having won eight times, including five straight between 1974 and 1978. <laughs> Yeah, ready to pounce. She was ready to come in. Red, the drop shot from Yankovic right from the start, but it didn't matter. Couldn't clear the net. Williams hungry. Persistence and harassment of Serena Williams ground strokes causing Yankovic fits and it's coming late and the Serbian in big trouble Williams trying to impose a fifth break on the day and position herself to serve for the title Thank 
Cadet Nooney will come down from the chair. Williams wants to challenge the return. Did it find any of the line? It did not. And a second break point saved by Yankovic. Frustration on one side, elation on the other, an insurance break for Serena Williams. The title in Charleston is hers for the taking, as she'll serve for the championship. Serena Williams won the title in Miami in part by their round of 16 victory over Dominika Sibokova coming back from a set down. After that match, she was asked in her post press match conference, Are there two Serenas sometimes? She said, Yeah, I'm talking myself inside. She's talking back and giving me lip. I give her a little attitude and I tell her she's bad and she tells me to be quiet. We get into it a little bit and then we get along. Well, the two Serenas have coalesced nicely here from the start of the second set as she serves for her third title in Charleston and the 49th career title for the number one player in the world. Called good. We'll see Kader Nuni come down once again. Yankovic insists that it's out. Nuni's response. It was. <laughs> Called good. Overturned. And 15 all.
was a funny little moment following the Simakova match in Miami, that post-match press conference where Serena did seem to indicate there are two Serenas and the inner That's conversation she has with herself. And there almost seems to have been two here in Charleston in this final. First set, boy, she sort of went away as Yankovic imposed herself. But since 30 all in set number two, Serena has been greedy and merciless, winning 11 of the 13 games played. And now is one point from victory. The two time champion of the Family Circle Cup looking to make it third time the joy in Charleston. Double championship point. Got very close to her third ace, which would have wrapped up the match, but she missed ever so slightly and then provides her second double fault. Still within striking distance as a second championship point. two points on serve in this set coming into this eighth game and Yankovic still loose. She's still alive. She finishes it off at the net. She's a three time champion. The handshake. We're the adversaries. But the day belongs to Serena Williams. For the third straight time in as many trips 2008, 2012, and now 2013 champion with a three set victory. For the 2007 champion of this event, Yelena Yankovic. 3 6, 6 love, 6 2 for career title number 49. Now the Williams family will be rejoicing as she wins in Miami, wins in Charleston, 11 straight matches, improves herself on the season to a remarkable start of 23 and 2. Matching her 58 and 4 performance last year, Serena Williams, at 31 years of age, is playing phenomenal tennis. And she will raise the trophy once again at the Family Circle Cup. It really was telling. And they had a nice exchange at the net following the match. Many eyes upon the handshake to find out if it would be cool. But even Yankovic had to smile and say, well done. Good match. It went the distance. And it provided drama, excitement, and some terrific tennis. Williams, plus six in the differential. Yankovic playing pretty strong within her own right, but that second set was just too much to bear. At love, she never was able to regain her composure overall and find a way to make trouble for Serena. And after the exchange that came 50 minutes into the match at 30 all in the opening game of set number two, something that Yelena said about speeding up her return of play, that woke Serena up, and from that point on, it was 12 of the next 14 games, and Serena didn't look back. 
So it's done. Serena Williams, back to back champion for the first time in 17 years at the Family Circle Cup, finds herself to the top of the board. It was Conchita Martinez in 94 95, the last to win back to back here, as Serena makes it a perfect two years in a row, as well as the run in 2008, riding a 15 match win streak on the green clay of Charleston. And this remarkable North America swing through the United States from the West Coast in Indian Wells to Miami, Florida. Now Charleston, South Carolina. Hard courts are done. Green clay, no more. Time to focus on the red dirt of Europe, and Serena will be there. And you know she has eyes on one coveted title, a second Roland Garros championship. And she looks in great form once again to be the big threat in Paris. Two number ones, Yelena Yankovic and the current number one, Serena Williams, embroiled in a tough three set match that delighted everyone here in Daniel Island and thrilling on the court named after Billie Jean King. So, as they set up for the post match ceremony to award Serena her third Charleston title, can't help but think of what was a remarkable week. Rain on Thursday. Postponing play, meaning that the Williams sisters each had to play two matches on Friday to be able to meet in the semifinals. And so much drama playing out throughout this week. Congratulations to Serena, now winner of three titles on the year. She has the most amongst all players in 2013, winning in Brisbane, Miami, and Charleston. Time to head to the stadium court, Billy Jean King Cork and Andrew Krasny, our master of sound Our Our two incredible athletes, Serena Williams and Yelena Yankovic. Joining us on court for today's trophy presentation, we have some special dignitaries. We have the mayor of Charleston, South Carolina, Joe Riley. The vice president and publisher of Family Circle magazine, Lee Slattery. Editor-in-Chief, Family Circle Magazine, Linda Fears. Senior Brand Manager, Unilever, Jen Daly. Brand Manager of Dove, Jill Ladder. Chief Marketing Officer of the Meredith Corporation, Nancy Weber. Our Tournament Director of the Family Circle Cup, Bob Moran. And our tournament manager of the Family Circle Cup, Eleanor Adams. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an incredible week here in Charleston, South Carolina on Daniel Island as we celebrate 41 years of this world-class professional tennis tournament. And now to present our finalist trophy, please welcome Vice President and publisher of Family Circle magazine, Lee Slattery. Lee, I'm going to have you hold on for just one second. We're going to hear from our incredible mayor, everybody. My bad. Come on up, sir. We need to hear from the incredible mayor of Charleston, South Carolina, Joe Riley. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, these are the best tennis fans in the number one tennis town in America and the number one place in the world to visit by Condé Nast. What a great group you are. We're, we're, so proud of this, this beautiful facility in this marvelous tournament. And, and we thank Meredith Corporation and Family Circle and all of their family-centered magazines. This is their 41st year. This is the longest running sponsored tennis athletic tournament of any kind in the world. We salute Meredith Corporation. Let's give them a great big round of applause. And, uh, and I want to thank Bob Moran, his fabulous staff, uh, all the volunteers, the wonderful group of, of, of uh, ball girls and ball boys, and everyone who participated in making the tournament possible. And our congratulations to the two champions, Elena, a past champion, a wonderful tournament, a great match today. Let's give her a great big round of applause. And, 
And you'll see, you'll see Serena in a minute, uh, a past a family circle champion, the number one tennis player in the world, and a great supporter of our nationally award-winning inner city courting kids tennis program. We've got lots of kids introduced to the game of tennis because of her wonderful support. Thank you very much. Congratulations on a great tournament. Thank you, Mayor Riley. Thank you, Mayor Riley. And now, let's bring up the Vice President and Publisher of Family Circle Magazine, Lee Slattery, and she is going to present the finalist trophy to your finalist, Yelena Yankovic, everybody. Let's hear it for her. Yankovic falling to 17 and 6 on the year, her second final champion in Bogota, her 13th career title, just not enough today against Serena. Oh my God, where did I begin? <laughs> Um, first of all, I had a, had an unbelievable week here in Charleston. I, I love coming back here every year, and I enjoy every minute that I spent uh, on this court. I love battling, and um, thank you. <laughs> um, it's an amazing court. I, I love these sofas. I've been saying that the whole week. <laughs> um, Congrats to Serena, she's a great champion and played such a great match today, so maybe next time she can play a little worse, so. <laughs> Congrats, very well done, and uh, wish you the best of luck uh, for the rest of the season. Um. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> Um, I, I have lots of people to thank. Uh, I want to thank uh, Eleanor and Bob for being uh, so nice, for treating the players so nicely and really spoiling us. Um, I know I, I got spoiled, so when I come back home, my mom's going to kill me. <laughs> um, I want to thank um, you know, all of the staff uh, who, has, who have done a great job, uh, ball kids, uh, the tournament supervisor, Pam, um, the drivers, Harold, and the rest of them. I don't know where they are, and I just enjoy seeing you guys every year. Um, I want to thank my brother, Marco, who is, you know, the, my biggest support and help. And even though I yell at him at times, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just getting frustrated, so I'm sorry for that. I want to thank uh, Tanya and Tosh kids. Uh, always fun f working with you guys. Oh, it's uh, harder giving a speech than playing, that's for sure. Um, I want to thank uh, the sponsor, sponsors, because without, uh, without them, this tournament wouldn't be possible. Family Circle and Dove and Xerox and the rest of them. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, am I forgetting someone? And I want to thank the crowd. <laughs> I really enjoyed playing here. It was a pleasure playing in front of you guys. And thank you very much for the support over the years. And hopefully I can see you next year. Thank you once again. Thank you, JJ. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Editor-in-Chief of Family Circle Magazine, Linda Fears, who has some special words for all of us, and then she will bring up your champion. Thanks, Andrew. On behalf of Family Circle Magazine and Meredith Corporation, I want to thank all the players, the fans, volunteers, the great state of South Carolina, the city of Charleston, and Daniel Island for an amazing week of tennis. I'd also like to thank our presenting sponsor, Dove, for all of their support. As we enter our fifth decade, Family Circle and Meredith are so proud to support women's tennis as it is our mission to inspire and empower women. And now, presenting the check 
for $125,000 is Jennifer Daly of Dove. And may we bring up to you, everybody, your champion. Let's hear it for Serena Williams. 15 consecutive match wins in Charleston for her third title here at 49 Serena, we overall. did this last year. Congratulations, third time. Thank you. Uh, thank you very, very much. Um, thanks to God, Jehovah, for giving us a day. What a beautiful day it is, right, after this week. So. Really beautiful day. Thanks to my box, everyone on the team over there. Uh, my dad just left, so thank you, Daddy, for everything. Um, I would like to thank you, the fans, for being so supportive. Every time I come out here, I've never in my life felt this much support. So it's, yeah. It, it definitely keeps me from coming back. And congratulations to Yelena on playing magnificent tennis today. And it was a really, really good match. And it was really, really fun. So I, I smiled for the first time on the court in forever. So thank you for making it fun. Um, and I just would uh, like to thank the sponsors, of course, but um, Eleanor and Bob are really doing such a great job. Um, the sponsors, Family Circle, Dove, Xerox, you guys have been um, so good for women's tennis, especially Family Circle. Supporting women's tennis for 41 years is really amazing. It gives us women a great sport, and uh, we're so excited to come back and, and to support such a great tournament with such great love. So thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. And, I'll see you next year. Thank you. We will give Serena her check. And to give her the official Family Circle Cup brand manager of Dove, Dill Ladder, is going to hand Serena the check as well, and the trophy as well. All right, Serena will deposit that check into your ATM right now. And we will have her hold up the beautiful Family Circle Cup, the Crystal Trophy. And we will give Serena Williams a big, giant round of applause, everybody, your champion. Let's hear it for her as I officially present to you your champion. While we're getting photographs taken, everybody, I want you all to get out your date books. Our tournament next year, March 29th through April 6th. We will see each and every one of you next year. Please remember to put us on your calendars. A big round of applause for all of our Well, Serena Williams, third time lucky in Charleston. And luck had nothing to do with it. She came out in sets number two and three and really imposed herself against Yelena Yankovic. And she benefits with her 49th career title. Improving to 23 and 2 in 2013 and leads all WTA players with three titles on the year. A fantastic performance once again, making it back to back titles in Charleston. 15 consecutive match wins going back to 2008. And she will delight in knowing that she is the Queen of South Carolina once again. So that'll do it for the green clay as well as the hard courts of North America. Now we focus our attentions on the schedule of the red dirt in Europe. Stuttgart, the next premier event, Maria Sharapova defending champion. And then to Madrid, Spain, where Serena Williams won the title last year. Serena guaranteed to enter into Madrid as the number one player in the world. She'll try to defend her title and find the form so she can make a run, she hopes, towards a second title at Roland Garros come June. So congratulations to her and Yelena for fantastic weeks here in Charleston. But that's going to do it for our coverage of the 2013 Family Circle Cup. And I remind you, for daily match highlights, player videos, score updates, tournament information, and all WTA news, log on to WTATennis.com. Duplication, reproduction, and retransmission of this broadcast with the express written consent of the WTA is strictly prohibited. For our entire talented television crew bringing you the sights and sounds, I'm Kevin Skinner saying so long from Daniel Island. Congratulations, Serena Williams, your 49th career title and your third as the champion of Charleston. So long from South Carolina.